Let's continue our dissection of the SLAM method, the mnemonic device that helps you spot phishing attempts. Remember, SLAM stands for Sender, Links, Attachments, and Message. This video will focus on A, which stands for Attachments. As with links, attachments in emails delivering malware are a tale as old as time. If a stranger rang your doorbell, handed you a package, and told you to open it, you would do no such thing. Unless you know the sender, are expecting a package, and are sure of the contents, mysterious boxes left at your door are often cause for concern. The same should go with attachments sent to your devices. Attachments are like a brown cardboard box that cloak the contents inside. You can slap a shipping label on that box, or a name brand, or a friend's address. You can call the attachment anything you want to make it more clickable, but that doesn't mean the contents inside are safe. Once a malicious attachment is opened, the chaos begins, unleashing malware and performing a slew of nefarious activities that you may or may not be aware are happening. Scammers will try to make attachments more appealing by utilizing other slam methods, such as impersonating a trusted entity or creating a sense of urgency so that you click before you think. But just as with any physical unknown items, you want to exercise caution when it comes to technology-based unknown items. Before clicking anything, be sure to verify the sender and use extreme caution when it comes to attachments you were not expecting or were unsolicited. Also, consider verifying with IT or your supervisor before taking any action. To learn more about the SLAM method, don't forget to check out the final letter in the SLAM method breakdown micro training series.